morning. Today, because I need to shoot a video tonight before I go to D&D and I got a lot of stuff to do, I'm going to talk about something that I really wanted to talk about for a while, but never quite managed to. I promised a video on this way back, but I'm terrible at keeping internet promises, apparently. Headshots from the Heart. Headshots from the Heart is a charity event that I run here in Kitchener Waterloo where we play video games for Child's Play. Child's Play is an international charity based out of Seattle. They donate toys and video games to children's hospitals all around the world. Uh, they've been doing this for about four or five years now, and they've gotten bigger every year. And last year we started pitching in. We ran a marathon game of Borderlands on a live webcast where our players, including myself, played for 24 hours straight. We had auctions, we had interviews, we had giveaways, and all told, we raised about $3,000 for Child's Play. This year, we're doing it again. This year, on May 18th uh, through to May 19th, three of our players will be going through Borderlands 2 for 24 hours, non-stop. On top of this, we're still going to have a webcast. We're still going to have auctions. We're still going to have giveaways and interviews. But we realized that we were missing something really important from last year. This isn't about my friends and I doing a thing for charity. This is about helping gamers use what we're passionate about to do something good. To that end, our fourth chair, Borderlands 2 is a four-player game, will be occupied by a member of the community. We're going to have a LAN party going on in the other room. All the details are down there in the depths. I'm not going to bore you with them right now. But we're going to have a LAN party going on, and every half an hour we're going to draw a name out of that LAN party, and they're going to come and join us for the main event. It's going to be something else. It's going to be awesome. We've got a lot of great sponsors. We've got a lot of great prizes this year. We've got a lot of great volunteers coming in to help out. We couldn't do it without them. And it's worth doing. And I always think about, when I think about games, one of the games that always comes to mind that, that made me a gamer, and it, if it isn't apparent, I play a lot of games. But one of the games I think about is Wizards and Warriors. This is an old NES game. I used to play it start to finish before school every day when I was about 10 years old. I'd start a game in the morning, and by the time I was leaving for school, I would have beaten the last boss. I really loved it. It was just, it was a lot of fun. And, I mean, but that would go, some days it would go better than other days. And sometimes, you know, 7.30, 8 o'clock rolls around and my mom is yelling at me. She's like, Jack, go to school. It's time for school. That's not what my mom sounds like, but that's what I thought she sounded like. And I'd say, Mom, just one more level, which is approximately what I sounded like when I was 10. But... And I realized, thinking about that, and thinking about headshots and child's play, that when you're a kid in the hospital, I mean, we, we spend so much time trying to, trying to get kids off of computer games and, and outside and, and, and play, and I think that's, that's great. I mean, you've got to get outside. You've got to get sunlight and vitamin D and play baseball and skin your knees. And, but when you can't do that, when you're stuck in the hospital, away from your, your family, away from your, you know, all your toys, away from your bed... I mean, I know most adults hate sleeping in hotel rooms. Imagine being in a hospital, which is like a really crappy hotel room, for weeks, or sometimes months, or sometimes years. Sometimes thinking that you might never get to go home. I can't, I can't even imagine what that's like. As an adult, let alone being a kid. You know, and you've got doctors who, who are coming in, in and out of your room with all kinds of charts and news and information, but there's only one piece that you want to hear. And then you want to hear that doctor say, it's time to go home. Every time they're going to come in there, you're going to get your hopes up, but only once is it going to happen. What we want, we want to bring gamers together. We want to bring everyone together. Everyone who cares about kids. This isn't just about gamers. This isn't just about us. This isn't just about... This is about kids. When that doctor comes in and says, it's time to go home, I want that kid to sit there and go, just, just one more level. That's what we're trying to do with Headshots from the Heart.
strength. I'll see you guys tomorrow.